Tart cherries, also known as Montmorency cherries, have become increasingly popular over the last couple of years. They're a little different than your sweet cherries since they are smaller and have that bright red color you often see, especially in tart cherry juice. In this video, I wanted to talk about the three conditions which were studied the most for tart cherries and what we can make out of them. Also, we can go over dosing and side effects too, which I think is super important. So let's get started. Also, real quick before we get started, it would mean the world to me if you hit the like button down below for the YouTube algorithm, subscribe if you like this type of content, and let's get started. One thing that's unique is that compared to sweet cherries, Char cherries contain 20 times more vitamin A and their antioxidant levels are up to five times higher. The reason is because the tart ones are not sweet, having less sugar, so more room for antioxidants. And the way to tell them apart is pretty easy. The sweet cherry is dark in color and the tart ones are bright red. But speaking about their antioxidant effects, did you know there's actually a way to measure a food's antioxidant ability? It's called ORAC, or what is known as oxygen radical absorbance capacity. Something like blueberries only sit at 2400, while tart cherry juice concentrate sits at 12,800. And this was measured at units per 100 grams, which is pretty remarkable actually. Most nutritionists will advise you to consume anywhere from 3,000 to 5,000 ORAC units per day, which if you're getting five servings of fruits and five servings of vegetables per day, you should hit that mark pretty easily. So let's get into the first benefit, which is for muscles specifically on muscle strength and muscle recovery. In 2010, we had a study in which runners were given 16 ounces of cherry juice in the days leading up to and immediately following a marathon. The results showed participants experienced less muscle damage, soreness, and inflammation. They also recovered faster too, and it was reported that the cherry juice appears to provide a viable means to aid recovery following strenuous exercise by increasing total antioxidant capacity, reducing inflammation, lipid peroxidation, and so aiding in the recovery of muscle function. What was really interesting to me was how isometric strength recovered significantly faster in the cherry juice group as well. And there are many other studies that look at this as well. Too many to actually go over, like Montmorency cherry juice reduces muscle damage caused by intensive strength exercise and consumption of cherries as a strategy to attenuate exercise induced muscle damage and inflammation in humans. These are just two more. Secondly, the use of tart cherry for sleep. And this is because tart cherries are said to contain melatonin in the randomized double blind placebo control crossover design called the effect of tart cherry juice on melatonin levels and enhanced sleep quality. They took 20 volunteers for seven days the results showed that there were significant increases in time in bed, total sleep time and sleep efficiency, total with cherry juice supplementation, which may be great if you don't want or trust melatonin supplements. Plus, a serving of tart cherry juice also contains about 30 milligrams of magnesium, which is known to enhance sleep quality and improve insomnia. I actually have a video on the five supplements you can take for getting a good night's rest without ever using melatonin, which I encourage you to watch out for this one. And lastly, tart cherries for memory and cognitive function. In this randomized control trial looking at its use on cognitive performance, they took 37 adults between the ages of 65 to 80. After the intervention, participants in the tart cherry group had higher contentment with memory scores lowered their scores of movement time, as well as performed better on the paired associates learning tasks compared to the control group. And that daily tart cherry juice consumption may actually improve cognitive abilities. Keep in mind that there are so many other conditions in which tart cherries are being studied for, like gout and arthritis too, which we can talk about in another video. In terms of the right dosing, most of the studies gave participants two daily eight ounce or 240 milliliter doses of the juice. This comes out to be 75 to 100 tart cherries a day. If you have a cherry tree in your backyard, you would know that it's no biggie because the average cherry tree contains 7,000 cherries. And in terms of the powder, studies use typically around 480 milligrams per day. Sports research also has liquid soft gels at 800 milligrams per day, which are organic, non-GMO, and third-party tested. If you wanted to try them out yourself, 
You can in the description below, not sponsored, but one that I like since it's both manufactured and quality tested in the US. Also guys, if you follow the Dirty Dozen list every year, cherries are placed number 10, which means they test positive for two or more pesticides. So with this one, I would go organic and wash them thoroughly if you wanna buy them from the grocery store and juice them yourself. And just FYI on the pits and the cherries, if you accidentally swallow a pit, there's no need to freak out. One or two won't be enough to cause cyanide poisoning. But I'm sure you heard that amygdalin is a cyanogenic glycoside, which is a chemical that your body converts into the toxic compound hydrogen cyanide. Well, it would take a lot of freshly ground cherry seeds to become dangerous. But with Morello cherry pits, it's different. Eating just three to four pits of the Morello cherry can cause poisoning in some people. So nothing to be scared about, just something to be cautious of if you're handling and eating them at home, especially if you have children, because it can also be a swallowing issue as well. And dogs too, because they don't handle the pits either. And in terms of side effects, tart cherries contain sorbitol, which is a type of sugar alcohol that can cause stomach pain and diarrhea for some. Depending on how much you take, you might have to adjust it and lower it if you do experience this. It also contains crescetin, which may interact with some blood thinners. So speak to your doctor first to see if it's right for you. But I'm more curious to actually hear from you guys though. I had fun with this one, but I wanna know what your thoughts are about tart cherry. Let me know in the comments below. Also, hit the subscribe button too if you found any value in this, and I'll see you on the next one.